they're a, a species that I used to fish for that we don't see very often anymore. Now, I don't know what happened environmentally, but they've just disappeared out of that Macquarie River. They were one of the most abundant species, if not the most abundant freshwater fish species that were there. I could envisage that in my lifetime they could disappear. I know that um, redfin have actually compromised you know, their populations to the extent that we've only just got them now in the Abercrombie River left. So we first found redfin in this catchment in 2005 and within 18 months they've become the most abundant species in the catchment. Since that redfin explosion occurred we haven't caught a Macquarie perch from that system. And we took uh, some fish from the Abercrombie to our hatchery at Narandra and kept them there while we potentially could identify a refuge location in the wild where, we, where they had suitable habitat and where there was a barrier that would stop redfin moving into that system. People have been trying to breed Macquarie perch since the 60s but nobody really had much success. The novel strategy we tried was to create an artificial stream. The hardest thing that we found with Macquarie perch was getting them into a condition where they're ready to spawn. So as part of that process, we went through this uh, building, this artificial stream and pond at Narandra. We uh, constructed an artificial channel uh, around that pond. We used pumps and uh, paddle wheels to circulate water around that channel. Uh, and it was just giving the fish a bit more of a natural habitat. The most satisfying thing is that now we can look five to six years down the track from when we released those fish we see that uh, there's a population establishing in the wild. So one of the techniques we use to sample for Macquarie perch is we set what's called a fike net. Generally we leave them uh, overnight because uh, the fish are more active during those um, evening and morning periods. Three turtles, a Macquarie perch and a platypus. And we've been stocking Macquarie perch in here now for about five years. We've put um, over 19,000 fish in here now. Well, that's something I was not expecting. We caught unexpected, totally unexpectedly a very small juvenile Macquarie perch, but it was a really, really important result for us. Well, it's like closing the cycle. Macquarie perch were threatened by redfin perch. We had to find a safe haven. We had to figure out how to breed them in captivity. Uh, we had to make sure the habitat was right at our release site. We monitored it while they grew. And the real clincher to claim success was that they would breed naturally in the release site and close the circle. So you know it's been a really successful program and, and um, has answered a lot of questions for us that we can establish a population from captive bred fish. So this river here that never really had Macquarie perch in it have actually got a viable population alive and thriving. So if we can start breeding these Macquarie perch we can actually get them back into those streams where we used to stock trout and actually make a, a viable recreational fishing river again where we don't actually get trout.